Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Scorpio. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you right now, what they're thinking about you, what they like best about you and the connection, what they don't like as much, their hopes, fears, what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. For the main cards of the reading, I'll be using the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshi Takamano, and if clarifiers are needed, the traditional Rider Waite. So... Let's see what is going on for Scorpio. Spirit, what is the person who is connected to or coming towards Scorpio thinking about them right now? What are they thinking about Scorpio right now? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? How are they feeling in their heart space? How are they feeling in their heart for Scorpio right now? How are they feeling? What do they like best about Scorpio and this connection with them? What do they like best? And what don't they like as much? Interesting. I had one come out and then another one just sort of like jumped out. Okay. I will take them both. And what is this person's highest hopes? What are the highest hopes? For the person connected to Scorpio or on Scorpio's mind, what are their highest hopes in this connection? What are their highest hopes? They keep starting to come out and then going back in. It's almost like somebody's afraid to get their hopes up. Okay, what are their highest hopes? And what are their deepest fears? And that one jumped right out. It's interesting energy this person it's like they're they're afraid to get their hopes up but they're pretty sure about what they're afraid of um but my goodness they're thinking about you like crazy okay i'm gonna get three cards for what's likely to happen what they're like to, likely to do next and any advice spirit has for you and i'm gonna lay them face down over here we will look at those together in the end interesting to just jump down one more, Spirit. What advice? What advice do you have for Scorpio? Okay. Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be feeling very conflicted right now about, you know, what to do about their, these feelings they're having for you. Could be going around in circles in their minds, second-guessing themselves. For some of you, there could have been a challenge, a miscommunication, or disagreement with the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It's almost like they're tucking it down and not really wanting to think about that or wanting to, they're wanting to move past it, get over it, that kind of thing. Or, you know, because swords or thoughts it is a mental energy oh and i went to get this and show you the five of swords and look what's on the bottom of the deck they might be stressing about you but with the page of swords they're thinking about you like crazy maybe looking at your pictures all of that um but with the five of swords swords are thoughts and so that can be somebody just going around in circles in their mind but for some of you there could have been a challenge um libra gemini aquarius energy for all those um all those swords there but what they think about you overall look at this it's the sun card leo energy could be significant strong in your chart or your persons or leo season that we've just um we're just coming out of could have been very significant for you but you do make this person happy they like hearing from you you know if their phone lights up and with your name you know it just I don't know, like, I just feel like butterflies kind of energy. And um, and it's like they get excited. They like you. They like being around you. They like hearing from you. They're glad that the two of you met. Even though, like I said, this person could be trying not to show it with that page of swords and with the five of swords. They could be feeling a little conflicted about something. And we'll see what else comes up through the course of this reading. But overall, what they think about you is the sun. The sun is like the happiest card in the tarot. It, li it, you know, it lights up the whole reading no matter what the reading is. Sometimes the sun can come up too when some things that have been held in are about to come out into the open and it is sitting right next to some very quiet energy. So some of you could get some news very soon. What they're feeling about you is the king of swords. Gemini energy could be significant but this is somebody who is thinking about you a lot, having a lot of clarity. I like the King of Swords. It's an honest energy. It is a truthful kind of, you know, very clear, very sure kind of energy. Um, and um, yet 
it can be a little stubborn and it's coming up in the like the heart space which means somebody's having a lot of feelings but they're trying to be smart they're trying to be logical about it you know and it can be almost like a stubborn energy so let's go ahead and get a clarifier and see what this person is thinking so hard about that they're trying to be smart about when it comes to their feelings for you and that just jumped out okay Two of Cups. I hope you guys saw the way that card just jumped out. Um, this is a much better card in the heart space. Okay. Right behind this sort of serious energy. I got to be smart. I got to be logical. I got to be, you know, careful how I, you know, express what I'm feeling is all this need and hope for love. This is someone with a two of cups, cancer energy could be significant, but someone who cares for you like you care for them. Um, if you don't have anybody like this coming, um, like in your life could be coming towards you with the sun and the two of cups, I just have to say, so keep that in mind. But um, I usually in the, you know, a lot of my readings, I'm looking for the energies of somebody you specifically have on your mind, but I do ask that it could be somebody new too for some of you. But if it is, it is somebody who might come off a little serious, but they have a softer side. And with the Two of Cups, um, this person could definitely be in their feels about you for sure. Wanting to move forward, wanting, you know, to be more serious, take things to the next level. This can be somebody, you know, who wants to get one on one with you maybe and um and express something see the way that the one energy is reading you know reaching towards the other and they both have their cups this is um equal give and take this is both people offering from the heart and so this is what this person really wants but i do feel like they struggle with it a little bit um in what they like best about you is the page of wands aries leo sagittarius energy could be significant here but this is messages communication new beginning taking initiative it can be starting something completely new and if for some reason the two of you just started talking or reconnected or something like that you know like um new messages that sort of thing they're excited about it they do i do feel like this person likes hearing from you and it might be hard for them to show it so they could be really sending some mixed signals here with that energy but they do like they do like talking to you the um page of wands can be about talking can be about um new like communication that sort of thing can also be somebody that you work or study with because the page of wands can be like a new field of study and work and it can be a very spontaneous energy so if you have like a spontaneous side then they like that as well um spirit why do we have the page of wands here oh my goodness so nine of cups on the bottom of the deck wishing hoping pisces energy could be significant maybe longing for you feeling like they could be very happy with you but look at this they've got the page of wands clarified by the nine of wands this can be somebody who's a little guarded and maybe even hesitant to communicate definitely interested been through their share of things you know um but they they like it i feel like this person likes when you when you reach out because i do feel like this person um has a side to them that's guarded now this is looking at what they like about you and i'm kind of getting that they like the page of wands they like when you reach out because they you know they um they struggle a little bit when it comes to maybe expressing themselves because i do feel like there's a lot of guarded energy here but it also can be the energy of the fact that you've been through your share of things this this energy this wounded warrior energy is somebody who's just about to reach the finish line they've been through so much they face so much they're worn out they're tired you know maybe you've had a lot on your plate maybe you've been through a lot in the past but this is somebody who still takes a stand somebody who still moves forward and um and and, you know just stands up for what's important to them it wands or creativity fire passion sagittarius energy could be significant here but somebody still stands up you know for what they believe in regardless of everything they've been through and they could be very much admiring the fact that you know you've had strength through difficult times that you have been through a lot and yet with the page of wands you still have that fire that passion for life that excitement when it comes to starting new things what they don't like as much is the high priestess energy and the eight of swords in reverse came out together very interesting cancer virgo pisces for me as a reader and then gemini with that eight of swords of course libra and aquarius can show up as well all swords energy there um, but 
I feel like with the high priestess, we have very quiet energy. This can be an intuitive energy. It can be a psychic energy. Um, it, and it could be, there's a few things I'm getting with this energy of the high priestess and the eight of swords together. It could be that the two of you like pick up on each other's energy psychically a lot and like they feel and sense you and sense you thinking about them, dream about you, you know, um, see signs, that sort of thing. But then when it's time for them to do something, you know, say something, they struggle with that because they overthink. Um, but with the eight of swords this is somebody coming out of kind of a stuck energy and so they could be picking up on your energy a lot but if for some reason the two of you aren't talking they could be feeling kind of stressed about that you know and maybe who's to speak first or make the first move you know that sort of thing like that's one of the things I'm getting and I also feel like you know if things have been quiet or if this person has been quiet um, they don't feel good about it like if the two of you stop talking for some reason or the communication broke down they don't feel good about that and they are working on getting out of their head and you know moving forward really doing something the eight of swords in reverse is actually much more positive than the eight of swords upright the eight of swords upright sorry my neighbors let off fireworks or something um if you heard that so the eight of swords upright is somebody who's overthinking going around circles in their mind feeling stressed feeling like they can't say anything not knowing how to make a move all of that but the eight of swords is somebody who's really beginning to realize you know the only place we're ever stuck is in our mind we really can you know take a step forward this is somebody that is you know feeling like maybe they can speak up maybe they can say what is on their heart and um and they're thinking about that a lot of thoughts here now if you remember their highest hopes you know took a second it took a little longer took a second to come out but their deepest fears jumped right out um Sorry, I had to grab some water. <laughs> I'm doing a juice cleanse right now and it makes me very, very thirsty. So I'm sorry if I have to grab water a couple times, but um, anyway. So he said their, their hopes took time and the fears jumped right out. And so it almost seems like this person is letting themselves be led a little bit more by their fears than their hopes and they're struggling to hope. But their highest hope was the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles, it is a patient energy. It can be an energy of waiting for the right moment, but it is also an energy of hoping that the thing you've been waiting for is going to work out, is going to come together. I'll go ahead and grab the traditional... Um, traditional card on that but um but with the seven of pentacles it is somebody who's planted something you know somebody who's watched it grow somebody who's waited for the moment for you know think <coughs> things to <coughs> ripen and come together sorry I just breathed in a little water um they've waited for that the right moment and now it's like it looks like they're right on the verge right on the verge of you know being able to really reap the benefits of something they've been hoping for so i do feel like this person you know could be somebody who has been waiting you know patiently been waiting for the right moment and hoping but i feel like what it really is is somebody that is hoping that whatever they have been waiting for with you is possible like that kind of energy and let's go ahead and get a little clarifier and see what this person could be waiting and hoping for with the seven of pentacles we have the ace of cups and look at this king of cups on the bottom of the deck um pisces energy of course scorpio and cancer and i really see this as a beautiful match for scorpio energy here but it is somebody who is getting more confident and sure about their feelings that king of cups is someone who is very conscious of how they're feeling it is a very somebody who is you know willing to take those steps forward to do what it takes but once again it's still tucked down at the bottom of the deck and for me bottom of the deck energy sometimes in a love reading come through as something that someone is feeling they know is there might even you know Know, really be aware of but it's like they're kind of tucking it down just a little bit but it's the underlying energy like the undercurrent for everything happening and so there's definitely a lot of feelings there and look at what is clarifying our seven of pentacles we have the ace of cups scorpio cancer pisces energy again but this person now some could be hoping 
for an offer could be hoping you know that you speak up or that you feel for them the way they feel for you could be hoping for that but they also could be waiting and hoping for the right moment you know depending upon your situation to make an offer to speak up but their feelings for you it seems to me you know are growing by the day and it's getting to the point where it's not going to be able to be tucked under this cool exterior much longer it's like what's going to happen is going to happen it feels undeniable this person um has feelings for you and i don't feel like they can deny these feelings much longer it's just it's it seems almost like it's become a part of them now their deepest fears are the nine of pentacles few things here with this coming up in the fears, because this is somebody, you know, who's independent, sometimes can be single, you know, can be like an independent, um, independent, like financially balanced, doing really well. It is the energy of somebody who is ready for the 10 of pentacles because they, it's like they've done their inner work. They're good on their own. The best way to, you know, attract in somebody who is healthy, balanced, ready for a connection is to get in that place yourself, you know? And so as somebody who's ready for the next step with this coming up in the their fears either some of them could be worried maybe that you're not single and available and ready for this obviously it's not going to be everyone um some could be worried that they are not ready that they don't have enough to offer like they're still working on their pentacles like they're not stable and balanced enough to take the step forward so let's go ahead and see what's likely to happen what it's likely to do next and any advice spirit has for you so what is likely to happen? The queen of pentacles. Interesting. I'll pull a clarifier on this. Um, Capricorn energy could be significant here. Of course, Taurus and Virgo as well. And strong Virgo with this nine of pentacles. But this is the energy of somebody that you get serious with. Somebody that you could see as, you know, like a long-term partner. Somebody that, um, that you want to, you know, really put all your energy into. Somebody that you could even want to marry at times with the Queen of Pentacles. Like it's that kind of energy. And it is like the Minor Arcana Empress. It is the energy of the person that you feel like there's all this potential with. Someone you want to invest in. Someone you want to be with. And someone that you do take very seriously in a connection. So let's go ahead and get a clarifier. Why do we have the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles what is likely to happen? Wow, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. A few cards on the bottom of the deck. And you know, they're so they're so good. I have to I go I have to go ahead and grab them. Um because they were all showing at the bottom of the deck at when I went out when the cards came out. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, once again, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles and um, a Three of Pentacles. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn energy, obviously not everyone. Um, but um but this person definitely admires you. They see you as, you know, together, you know, independent and someone who, you know, can do really well on their own. And I do feel like this person, it's like with the three of pentacles, wants to invest in this connection. They do want to put in the time and the energy. I feel like there's a little bit of nerves around what they have to offer because it almost seems like they've got you on a little bit of a pedestal here. Obviously it's not, you know, going to be the case for everyone, but it's almost like they admire you so much. They want to put in the time and the energy, but there's still a little bit of those nerves. And also I get the feeling that somebody's a little nervous to be um, to be vulnerable here. But look at the cards that came up on the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, and I don't even know what's coming next. I feel like I should almost save these, but Ten of Wands, Four of Wands, Star, and Chariot. Someone is coming to the end of a burdensome cycle. Sagittarius energy. I'll go ahead and say the signs real quick before we go further. Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius, and Cancer can all be significant here. Um, but somebody, I feel like it's been heading towards you maybe for quite some time here, but they might have had so much on their plate that it's like they almost don't feel like it's possible. They don't even know how it's going to, you know, come together, but they're wrapping something up. I feel like so they can invest because look, we've got the four of wands. This person wants to take it to the next level with you. 
Um, they do want to see where this can go. With the star and the chariot, these are two very strong healing energies. They're major arcana. It is somebody being more open, more authentic, and someone wanting to listen to their heart and move forward. So if there has been a challenge or has been a stress, I feel like this person and maybe even you have found yourselves even more through all of this. You're becoming more authentic, more clear about what you want. And I do feel like this is somebody really wanting to move forward and in a very honest way. So now these cards are so great. I'm almost nervous to see what, what are they likely to do? What are they likely to do? Seven of wands. Okay. This is our hero's card. This is somebody who wants to take a stand. This is somebody who's passionate, somebody who wants to fight for something. Sometimes this energy can be a little guarded. Doesn't surprise me. Guarded energy has showed up all the way through here, but no matter how, you know, how logical this person tries to be, how, you know, guarded they are because of past things and all of that. It's like the feelings keep coming up and they just can't stop. You know, they can't stop these feelings from coming up. So the seven of wands is an energy and I'll pull out the traditional tarot on that as well. Sometimes I like that, uh, that energy, um, is the, um, energy of somebody saying no to the things that aren't right. Somebody saying no to the things that aren't working so they can say yes to um, what they're passionate about. Say yes to what is meaningful. So if this person has had a lot of demands, a lot on their plate, a lot that has come in between the two of you even, you know, um, things that have been distracting them, I feel like this is somebody who is ready to prioritize. Do you see this seven of wands? Somebody who's standing on a hill, which means taking the higher ground, wanting to do the right thing. The wands, the ace of wands is taking initiative. It's passion. All these wands here, it can be people demands, conflicts, challenges, all sorts of things. But this is somebody saying no, no to all these things. I'm choosing, you know, what matters to me. I'm choosing what to take a stand for. And this, I feel, is somebody who wants to, you know, say no to whatever stands between the two of you and take a stand for this connection. So what is your advice? Two of Swords, interesting. I'll pull clarifier on this as well. Two of Swords is the traditional of energy of when it is time to make a heart overhead decision. But you're trying to be smart and you're trying to be logical and you know, um, you kind of get stuck here. I'll go ahead and show you the, the traditional tarot of that as well. Um, and so it almost seems to me, you know, I feel like in connections and life and everything, we tend to attract the energy we hold. Every connection comes into our life for a reason, sometimes to learn, sometimes to teach us something about ourselves that we're not seeing, you know, sometimes to, to be together once we, you know, overcome any challenges and all of that. Um, but you could be attracting in the energy of somebody who is a little, you know, guarded themselves because you could be in that energy. With the two of swords, do you see how this person has their arms crossed? When you have arms crossed in tarot, it is somebody who doesn't, you know, who's guarded. Maybe somebody who doesn't want to listen to their heart. You see all this water behind them, the moon, that's all intuition. That's all emotion. It's like somebody who's trying not to think about their feelings because they feel like they have to be smart. They have to make the right choice. Swords are thoughts. And it's like they have to make the right choice and they're scared to make a choice from their heart. So we're going to pull a clarifier and see what that's all about. But if you are in a, you know, guarded energy, you can attract that from someone, even if that's not the, you know, um, the case and the connection, how that person is feeling, you might still attract in that energy if you're holding that energy. So Spirit, why do we have the Two of Swords? Why do we have the Two of Swords for the advice? Wow. For, um, why do we have the Two of Swords for the advice for Scorpio? So. Libra energy, first of all, for the Two of Swords, but didn't mention Leo for the Seven of Wands. And now we have a King of Pentacles, strong Virgo energy. Of course, Taurus and Capricorn, it's all Earth, but, um, but strong Virgo. The Two of Swords clarified by the King of Pentacles, something about listening to your heart 
because look at this. You have somebody who is seeing you in this Queen of Pentacles energy, the kind of connection they take seriously, the kind of connection they want to invest in. And they're showing up here as the King of Pentacles. And it's almost like your guides are saying, you know, don't worry, don't stress, listen to your heart, because you absolutely have something coming towards you, something stable, something positive. Now, if somebody shows up that isn't in this energy, this beautiful energy of wanting to show up, invest, be present, be there, you know, put in the time, be smart, be logical, and make the, you know, make the wise choices, make the tough choices, and hold that space for somebody who's going to show up, you know, like that King of Pentacles doesn't have anything to do with the signs they show up and it's the energy because honestly, we all have everything in our chart, all that is represented, but it's the energy that someone shows up in. This is somebody who wants to commit. This is somebody who cares. This is somebody who wants to nurture. So, Although, you know, it's so important to listen to our hearts, so important. We do have to be logical. We do have to listen to our mind as well and, you know, make healthy, good choices for ourselves. That's just part of life, you know, but don't get so stuck in the overthinking that you don't make any choice at all. Listen to your heart and, um, and make space for the energy of somebody who really wants to show up in a positive way. So that is the message that I have for you. I do hope you all find it helpful. I want to thank everyone who's been watching my channel, subscribing. Many of you have been here since the beginning and many of you, many of you are just finding me now as the channel is really starting to grow. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. I love listening. Um, so I love reading the comments of all who listen and hearing, you know, just what you think and what resonates and all of that. It's so fun. I love reading through them. So I just want to thank all of you who've been watching and subscribing. And if you like the video, I'd love you put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading, I do offer those on my website. Um, they are video recorded readings. So when you order the reading, you send me an email, tell me what's on your mind, and then I do a reading. It's just like a YouTube reading, but it's all your own energy. So it's not like all the collective energies coming in that can be very confusing at times, but um, it's all your own energy. And then I send you that video in a week. It does take a full week. I used to have um, 24 hour orders and I don't have those right now. I don't know if they're going to come back in because I do get a lot of orders now. So they do take a week, but um, I do see that um, people, because I leave them up indefinitely, that some people watch them over and over. So I feel like it does work really well this way. And I'm glad that I have that um, option to do that. So I just wanted to let you all know, because I found out that a lot of people don't even know that I do personal readings, because I don't say a word till the very, very end, because um, I can only do so many. So I just want to let you all know, and I do want to thank you. I've actually read for a lot of Scorpios, and so it's interesting. I'll see these energies come up, and I'm like, oh, I see somebody. I see somebody I know, so it's really cool. I love Scorpio energy, so I want to thank you all again. Hope you have the wonderful rest of August, and I will be bringing the September You and Them love readings as soon as I can. Thanks all so much.